What's up guys? Welcome to the flight deck. I should say, hopefully, welcome back to the flight deck. Hey guys, listen, I wanted to do a little uh, trailer uh, update uh, because as you can see, obviously a lot have changed since I did my original uh, video on my trailer setup about, what was that, about three months ago, three, four months ago when I didn't have hardly any airplanes. And as you can see now, yeah, she full. <laughs> so uh, let me talk a little bit about what I did. Um, so again, this is simple stuff, guys. I don't have, I probably have less, less than 50 bucks totally. And you know, in the whole setup thing that I've done here, everything is hanging. Uh, I mean, I've used eyelets uh, to secure the planes to the floor. Eyelets to secure the gas tanks. And I have a bunch of bungees in there. Um, so there's my big extra 260, which I just had to make room for. Uh, that, so that one, as you can see, kind of sits at an angle. Uh, I built me a little ramp there to cover the gap between the trailer and the door. And uh, that, that thing just pops out. Like so. Just store it back up in there. Uh, so... Yeah, so the last thing I just did was, there you can see that is the FMS uh, Corsair uh, 1700 millimeter V3. And I just built uh, that hanger for that plane. Uh, and uh, it's uh, so far doing absolutely wonderful. Um, so uh, let me talk a little bit about what I did there. Uh, so uh, I built the, I had, I'd used the L, uh, format that a lot of people use when they hang these planes in their garage and stuff. Let me walk around and get a front view of it. Uh, I use that. So the front, the front three pieces, the top, that corner and the bottom corner, those are all glued in. Okay. So it makes not really an L more like a, like a backward C. Uh, so those are all glued. So that corner, that corner, and that corner back there, those those are all glued in. Um, but my concern was, so the plane, I have to uh, back up the ramp with the plane held nose forward, and then she slides in on those on those two pads there, and pushed all the way against the front um, post. Um, and so the back two obviously are not glued in because I have to be able to get the plane out. So those back two pieces right there are not glued. Uh, but I was, after I put it in here, uh, you know, because it's a $500 airplane, I was concerned about uh, if those things were, because they're not glued in, if those things uh, were to give way, uh, you know, uh, I feel confident that the glue would, would be enough because, as you know, it's a foam airplane. It doesn't really weigh a lot, but the bouncing would be my concern uh, and maybe uh, possibly break loose one of those connectors. So here's what I came up with. So a little piece of tape. Let's see if I can get this off right there with a small hole drilled through with a nail pushed all the way through. So I did that on all four. You can see the nail sticking out there on that side. I did that on all four sides, actually all eight sides, because I did it on the front too. And this, then I just used the masking tape that goes over the back of the nail to keep the nail from falling out. So that nail goes all the way through. There you can see. And so that's just extra security and peace of mind really uh, for me uh, to know that uh, the plane is secure in the rack and the bouncing and stuff that it uh, endures is not going to, it's not going to fall down and fall on my precious cargo underneath of it. So yeah, I thought that, uh, I thought about it for a while. I uh, thought that that idea, uh, I thought about cotter pins. Uh, cotter pins were number one, they were too expensive. They were 13, $14 a piece at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, and you know, I need eight of them because I like I said, I did the front two also the front four are also done Even though those are glued. Uh, I just did it for extra extra security 
And like I said, these, I have to pull these off. These back ones off, I have to pull these out and take these two posts off to be able to, obviously to be able to get the airplane out and fly it. So yeah, so that's what I came up with. And so far it's, uh, uh, it's working out beautifully. Uh, love the trailer. Uh, I'm pretty happy with my setup. When I, when I did that, I had to move. So I had, I had that wing and that wing were both on this wall right here. So obviously when I did that, I had to move uh, the extra wings, which are right there over to this other side. And I had to raise or lower that wing right there down a little bit to be able to allow the Corsair. Because <laughs> as you can see, there isn't a whole lot of space. <laughs> uh, thank God this trailer is six feet wide. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of space there. I do have to turn the plane sideways when she comes through the door because of the door jams. Uh, so she does have to go sideways to go inside. But yeah, so there it is. Uh, I'm happy with that. That is, uh, man, everybody that sees this sees this trailer just gives me compliments and says how well I've done. I got a blower up there. It's a 40 volt uh, cordless blower from Lowe's. As you can tell, it's a cobalt. Uh, that thing, so I use it to blow the trailer out at the end of the day or whatever when I've tracked all the dirt and stuff inside. So I use that. I use that to blow out the leaves and stuff. So keeps the trailer clean. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, six minutes and 30 seconds. I don't want to take up any more of your valuable time. But yeah, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you got any questions. Like I said, everything is done by, uh, like I said, less than 50 bucks. Everything is done by either um, eyelets that are screwed in to the floor or eyelets that are screwed in to the sides. I didn't use eyelets on that. I use those, uh, I forget what you call those, but those came from Harbor Freight. Um, and uh, those hooks, all these hooks that you see there and back there that's holding my uh, tool bag all those came from, you can get them at either Lowe's or Home Depot. You know, 10, 15, 12 bucks for them, I think. They already had the padding on them for the wings, which is another good feature. So yeah, there you have it guys. This will do it. Iceman signing off from Jack's RC, is it? Boy, I got some, I got, yeah, I'm about to get the water hose out. And get the water hose to the trailer. But uh, yeah, all right guys, till next time, we'll see you on the deck. Thanks for watching, Iceman out.